drop her back, circle, look, watch this. Oh my god, it's a train! Get back here! <laughs> Stoppy. Circle. Yeah! There we go! Alright, welcome to episode one of Stunter X, a brand new series where I'm going to be taking my stunt riding adventure with you guys. If you're familiar with my How to Wheelie video, this is actually the exact parking lot where I recorded that video. It has been a long time since I've used a handbrake. I currently do not have the handbrake on here, but I've been teasing it and showing that I'm going to be putting the handbrake on soon. I got a brand new HC1 sitting at home. I just need to throw it on. I've been working on the YZ. We're, we'll get into all of that in this video. But ideally, I'm going to be bringing more content to you guys with this series. There might be times that I'm on a different bike. I'm in a different parking lot. I might be in a different city. Who knows what this series can bring. But we have one ultimate goal, and that is to become a better rider. Not only that, but it's going to be a win-win because you guys are going to be getting more content. This is going to be easier for me to edit. And I'm going to work on being a better rider. There is a lot of seat time that a stunt rider puts into actually becoming a better rider. And I'm going to be showing you how that is and how much work actually goes into it. It's not about being gifted. It's not about having a certain talent. It is simply about putting in the seat time. I'm excited for this series. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop on the bike and we're going to get a jump on this. One more thing, I'm going to be playing with my 360 camera and we're going to get into some shenanigans. I might not just stay in a lot. We're going to see what happens, but ultimately that is the goal of this series. All right, so with this being the first video of the series, I guess I should go ahead and explain what kind of bike I'm riding, what kind of riding I do and what kind of experience I have. Any of you new people, click on this video and uh, maybe this is your first time seeing one of my videos. Here's a nice coaster for you. This is my 2019 KTM 500 EXE. I have roughly 600 hours, at least 25,000 miles on this thing. No kind of motor work, just oil changes and a couple valve shims. I am the How to Wheelie guy and this is where I recorded my How to Wheelie video. So it is only fitting that I'm back here for the first Stunner X series. But like I said in the intro, this series could really turn into anything. I mean, I am going to do some shenanigans with this series and it's not going to be solely just riding a lot, but that's going to be the primary focus of it. Let's click the 360 on, shall we? Let's get these circles back. Yeah, this is going to be just kind of a general starter with the series. I'm not focusing on anything. I believe the next video in the series will be uh, focusing on getting my scrapes back. It has been a long time since I've done any scrapes. The scrape in the rear fender, I don't have any titanium on it at the moment, but I do have some titanium at home that I could throw on it. Some of my previous experience with scrapes is uh, having a 12 bar on my WR250X. And with that 12 bar, it's a lot more stable going back for a scrape. You rely on that 12 bar a lot more. And it's a lot different doing it with just a rear fender. Because you really got to be a little more articulate with where that fender's at and knowing the placement of your fender whenever you're going back for a scrape. Whereas with a 12 bar, you can just kind of drop her back. It rides that 12 bar and then you hit the brake and it'll bring it back forward. Got some Swisher Sweets in there. And the wing stop cup. How about a knee knocker? Flick her into third. Clutch in. Ow, tripod hit me in the back of the helmet. Some swerves on this windy day. Stoppy. Oh. oh boy, don't do that. <laughs> this lot used to be pretty clean, but a lot of loose rock and gravel that you see on here. Yeah, another episode I'd probably be uh, dialing in my stoppies again. I mean, this probably won't be the lot that I'll be able to do it in. I'm gonna try to keep my circle in between right here. Bring her back this way. Well, that ain't what I wanted to do, but when I'm doing these circles, I'm just dumping the clutch, pulling it right back in whenever I get it up to where I need it. Ride the curb. <laughs> I'll clutch out, clutch in as soon as I get it to balance point, and I'm just uh, 
working the clutch you keep the circle going i'm hardly using any throttle the big 500 you don't need no throttle yeah it used to be so dialed into stunt riding i've been doing it for a long time now so my interest kind of went into dirt i'm going to be pumping out some dirt videos and i know i have an audience for stunt riding with this series i'd really like to put out some more content basically whenever i make a dirt video who knows maybe i can drop one of these kind of videos in between as well you guys will probably get some double uploads some weeks and some weeks this might be all that i can actually get done because i do think i still can make a pretty entertaining video with it let's go exploring shall we this is the old uh, water plant area pretty cool old building obviously there's quite a bit of graffiti and there also used to be a couple buildings right here as you can see they ripped all that out and then right over here we got the missouri river with a nice little dock to be able to view out on the river What a cool view. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but it's pretty foggy down that way. That's not actually fog. I think that's just dust blowing from one side of the river to the other. It is a windy day out here today. Got our own lot right here. Ooh, a little bit bumpy. Toasting. Oh man, I didn't mean to do that. All right, let's get back to the lot. So with this being episode one, let me go ahead and tell you why I'm calling this the Stunter X series. I kind of told you why I want to do the series. So let me go ahead and tell you why I'm calling it the Stunter X series. So Stunter X, where does the name come from? Why do I call it that? I kind of told you why I think this would be a good series and this is the kind of stuff I come out here and do anyway so being able to make a series out of it and something to click on some extra content for y'all circle in the hangar it's kind of a win-win like I said in the intro obviously the stunter comes from me wanting to be a better stunt rider my channel name Corky can stunt that kind of comes from the motivation of me wanting to be a better stunt rider. I can do it. And that's like me telling myself, Corky can do it. Corky can stunt. And same way with Stunter X. I like Elon Musk and I like what he says. He's obsessed with the letter X. Look at SpaceX and whatever his son's name is. I, I couldn't repeat it to you right off the top of my head, but... Skirt. So that's kind of where the X comes from. Maybe in the future I'll get Elon on for an episode. <laughs> Hi Bob. <laughs> ah. So that's kind of where the Stunter X comes from. I want to be a better stunt rider and I like the letter X. And not only is the letter X an inspiration from Elon, but whenever you're looking at like something like a math problem, X is usually your object that you are uh, working to solve and in this case I am the stunt rider that I'm working to get better so so that's kind of the idea where Stunter X comes from I love circles man I just go around and around and around as long as the wind ain't blowing I can do some knee knockers I used to be able to do some knee knocker circles a long time since I've tried those let's give it a whirl Come to almost a stop clutch it up and try to lean over i used to have these down but it's been a while side saddle that scary have you guys ever seen the picture of me side saddling my yz 250 and working the brake with my left foot i was when i was a little more dialed in i was in a position kind of like this and i was actually getting the bike up to balance point and working the brake with my left foot that's been three four years since i've done that the 500 has kind of got some more torque than my yz250 believe it or not because that's also whenever i was practicing like every day i shredded that rear fender down to like a two o'clock fender a little, a little choppy i like that chop though i want to get better at that I want to get better at my no-handers and I really just want to get dialed in on this thing again man and I got the coasters down the foot brake work 
once I put that handbrake back on boy oh whoa I don't know what the hell happened there uh but yeah once I get the handbrake back on bro I got some ideas for my stunt parts too warm up the brakes and the front tire a little bit a little bit of some stoppies just kind of sketch there's much gravel that's on this lot over here there we go yeah i thought it was a good idea just to uh get a pretty in general video for the very first episode just because i kind of want to show what all i can do what all i know at this time and then by the end of the series be able to i think i was using in the intro this is my ai camera that actually follows me around <laughs> how sick this is let's see if it keeps up with me oh i already lost it i think as i come back in the shot should start following me again yeah it moves pretty slow but the times that I kind of go out of the shot that's pretty handy right, let's try another knee knocker circle now that this thing's tracking me See that time I dropped it back but I couldn't get it to turn. Wait for the wind, wait for the wind. Play it smart. Track me, track me. Yeah, this thing's like some of my friends it ain't got much of an attention span. I don't know, it's something that I wanted to play with. It seemed cool, so I figured I'd try it out. The hardest part is trying to shut it off. You gotta chase it around and around. I wanna shut my camera off. I'm gonna try to carry some speed coast into here and then i'm gonna try to wrap this corner and ideally be able to circle back one thing i've never been able to figure out is whenever i'm turning in a circle being able to straighten it out and continue going that's something i really want to figure out i used to have it down on my grom way back in those days those of you that didn't know yeah i had a fully stunted out grom and i could figure eight circle that thing i could i could do quite a bit on that but at the end of the day it's just a grom all right let's go down turn ah coast drop her back circle nope not it one more time drop her back quit dragging your foot ah dragging my shoe so hard let's try a full circle with my feet on the pegs typically whenever i do a circle i'm dragging one of my legs it just kind of help me keep my balance. But I used to have it down, then I'll do it with my feet up. Let's try it. All right, all right. No, no, not it. There we go, lock her in. Lock her in, that's all I gotta do. I fell into the circle and I just didn't trust it and I fell out of it. This one's it. Watch this. Nope. Watch this. No, what is happening? My hand's kind of cramping up, I'll tell you that. I even took my AG1, my liquid IV today. There we go. There we go. That is like half a circle. We're going to get this. There we go. There we go. That's where I need to be. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You can do it once, you can do it again. There we go. All right, it's not too bad down there, like with the gravel. Let's try a little stoppy do. There we go. There we go. Let's do a stoppy coming down and then circle out of it. It'd be kind of sick. I'm gonna throw it in second gear for this. Stoppy, bounce. Oh, I clutched up, but I might have to keep it in first. Get some speed. Stoppy, circle. Yeah, there we go. Back in the same direction we're going. Wheelie out. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god, it's a train! Oh my god, it's a train! Get back here! Ah, 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 ah. 
Before we get out of here, the sun is going down. I'm gonna try to circle this thing. I wanna try to circle slow enough that it keeps me in the frame the whole time. The hardest part is dumping it, so let me circle back around. Ah, oh, just lose it dumping it so fast. Does it even track me from out here? back up on the seat push myself a little all right let's uh for shits and giggles let's go for a scrape right in front of it i don't think i'll get it but all right. that's why i need work not threw myself over the bars since this is the first episode, let's start this off right, shall we? We went the entire day without this, but we need it in the first episode. So let's just get this out of the way. It's made for it. It's gonna happen. This is a stunt bike, and you can just hop right back on it, click it into gear, and we're golden. But like I said, it's gonna happen. This is a stunt bike. And it's time it's treated like a stunt bike. I got my axle sliders from 50 Stunt on here and that really protects the wheels. I love coasters. So fun. Let's get a little higher speed coaster on here. See, I'm scared, I'm out of practice. Click into fourth. Just coast. Clutch in. And that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Welcome to the Stunter X series. The next episode ain't gonna be so all over the place. How about a rev limiter? <laughs> I love this bike and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. And I should say, this isn't all that I'm gonna be posting. I'm gonna have my regular content videos that I've got planned out, things in the future that I plan on doing. I'm still doing dirt stuff. This is just something extra that I'm going to try to be bringing you guys pretty regularly. And ultimately just documenting my progress as a rider and putting the handbrake on this thing. I think I'm pretty excited for that. You should be seeing a video on screen right about now and I guarantee you it's a pretty good one too. You might want to click on it. How about a knee knocker for my piece? Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all know what to do if you like this video. But I'm out of here y'all. Peace!